Hello, hello. Welcome to Top Shelf Backpacking. It is a Friday night out here on the Oregon coast. Just got off work, probably 7.30. Oh, I think it was 46 degrees last time I looked. And we are headed toward camp in the dark. And we are along the Silk Goose Lake Trail. Uh, we were the first car in the lot there, so probably have the place to ourselves tonight. But uh, another night hike, getting kind of used to it. Uh, there could be rain tonight. We're hoping not, but uh, bags are loaded up. 32 pounds, I think, on my front and back. And uh, we're here for a good time. See you out on trail. Cheers. So the Silk Coose Lake Trail is a lollipop trail. Typically, in the past, we've headed south, which is about three quarter miles to a single campsite. Uh, this time we are gonna head north to kind of more of a little group site. There's a lot more spaces up there and I think a better beach. So that is where we're planning on the camp tonight. We can always move tomorrow if we feel like it, but uh, we're gonna keep on keeping on. About a mile to camp. See you out there. Hello, hello. Made it to camp roughly two miles in. Found this decent little spot. We're hoping to get our three-man tent up. Ground's fairly soft, but it's kind of a uh, Oh, just a little bit away from the fire ring. There are designated sites over here. We've got a table. So far, it didn't get rained on, which is sweet. We left his chairs. Yeah, stump chairs. And then, right down here, we've got some uh, water access, which is pretty sweet. So, we're going to kind of get things pitched up down here and uh, yeah, get ready for bed. Got the tent set up here, give you a little tour inside. Since there's two of us, we're rocking the Nature Hike Cloud Up three person. Here, we squeezed it in here, we're kind of up on a route over on that side, which leaves just enough room for our 255, sorry, 25 inch pads. I am rocking the X Therm with the new quilt 30 degree um, outdoor vitals. Hopefully it's warm enough tonight. It's supposed to get down into the mid to high 30s. We're kind of glamping out here. So I rock three pillows in this scenario. I've got that uh, big sky something or other. Weighs about 0.8 ounces. I've got my Nemo Philo. And then I rock my sit pad between my knees. I'm a side sleeper so that uh, I hold that guy in my arms, keeps my arms from falling asleep, which usually helps me sleep a little better at night. Um, but yeah, first time, time trying this setup. It was only two miles in, so worth the extra few ounces to uh, try and be comfortable. I do have a backup and latent equipment quilt. Should it get so cold, um, I decide a little more for push come to shove, we cuddle. You know, survival is what it is. Uh, anyway, we're getting ready to make some uh, trail toddies. Go enjoy a cigar right down on the lake. Uh, so we will likely see you down there. Packed in some pretty good stuff. Got some total more do from cask. This AO American, which is fantastic. So we're mixing into a spiced apple trail toddy tonight. There is a uh, another one of these picnic benches down by the water. So once this is ready, we will head down and enjoy a cigar and a drink water side. Cheers. Well, we made it in the bed tonight nice and toasty after putting everything away sat out on the lake enjoyed some beautiful stars wish this camera was a little better so we could see them better and uh display them to you so now that we're all bundled up got my nice warm down booties well we shall see you in the morning hope you sleep as good as we do maybe better 
Well, good morning, everybody. Made it through the night. Um, not sure how cold it got. I kept my thermometer in my bag, which was in the uh, quilt with me. But slept really well. Love this Nemo Philo pillow. And the Outdoor Vitals quilt seem to keep me nice and toasty. Uh, birds are out. I'm looking forward to uh, making some coffee, nice warm breakfast, and uh, I'll probably shoot a couple videos here at camp and then uh, go adventuring. So we'll see you in a little bit. Right out of the tent, only probably 50 feet away, is a uh, beautiful lake. Didn't realize we could even see it from here. As you know, it's pitch black last night. But blue skies up ahead and uh, gonna have a fantastic day. So I always hang a bear bag, even if we're not anticipating bears, just because I don't want critters chewing through my semi-expensive shit. Tried out this dog moan from Hilltop Packs and love how easy it is. Um, I used to use a PCT stick that I got through Light AF and uh, Ooh, I swear every third time it would just uh, like pull through I would do something quite right and the bag would end up on the ground before I walked away thankfully. But yeah this guy seems like a nice uh, lightweight alternative that's quite a bit easier to use. All you gotta do is thread your uh, line through the hole in the middle and around one of the dog bones and uh, you're off to the races. So we're gonna get our food done, make some coffee and some breakfast and uh, probably sit and enjoy this amazing view of the lake. So we just had some delicious breakfast and coffee. Packing up camp a little bit here. I'm uh, gonna shoot a couple review videos and then uh, go hit the trail and see where this adventure takes us. We'll see you out there. So we packed everything into the tent here. And uh, since it's like, I don't know, 10, 30 or 11, we are gonna hike back to the trailhead and uh, head into town for some lunch. Cause uh, I mean, Fernway and Mountain House make delicious food, but uh, it ain't quite like the stuff you can get down on the dock. So got our food bag hanging in the tree over there so the critters stay out. Beautiful view of the lake. And uh, we'll hike out and kind of uh, actually see what we walked through yesterday because it was so pitch black we didn't see anything. So uh, we will see you out on the trail. Cheers. Here is the privy for the three sites over here. <sighs> but there's toilet paper. So, you know, in a pinch. For some people that beats uh, squatting, but we do have a uh, poop getting a trowel and everything. If we had to dig a cat hole we could, although the ground here I mean, is so covered in vegetation. You'd have, even with my embargo, it'd be, it would be tough to dig a hole out here. we camp 
here at South Camp. It's kind of the only isolated spot. And usually we hike in the way we're hiking out now. And uh, has a privy down there too. Water access isn't nearly as good as what we've got. Views are nice, but not like what we've got. Um, you just run the risk of having other campers uh, within 100 feet of you where we are. Not an issue today, um, probably because it's, you know, freezing cold in winter time, but a uh, beautiful day to be out here on trail. So we're just getting down into the parking lot. We're in view of the road there. And uh, we've got our packs. dura has got his up there. Pretty much empty. We might pack in some firewood tonight or some more beverages or who knows. It's not even noon yet, so we will see where this day's adventure takes us. Um, so yeah, we'll check back in shortly. So we are parked here in the public parking in Florence, Oregon. We are getting ready to uh, head down to the dock to uh, enjoy some lunch uh, right on the water there. We'll see you down there. For lunch today, here along the uh, water, we are going to heat up some Mountain House and uh, just ready to ask, like we're having crab chowder, garlic bread, and a Corona. Water side. Hiking's hard. Yep. Backpacking doesn't have to be that serious, folks. So once we're done in town today, we will uh, hike back into camp and probably enjoy a fire tonight at uh, Lakeside. Anyway, we will uh, see what other adventures we find here in town. Cheers. Fantastic lunch at Novelli's down on the water in Florence, Oregon. If you're ever in town and like crab or chowder, best chowder I've ever had anywhere. Uh, we are gonna ride up to Bymart, I think. See if we can find a new filter and a couple of things and then uh, kind of explore from there. So we'll see you out there. So we made it over to North Jetty Park here along the river. Mouth of it's right down there. So we're gonna hike down to the beach and uh, yeah, probably enjoy a nice cigar down there. So it's a bit windy here on the actual beach. So we will enjoy a uh, probably short break and uh, head back in the car, go into town and uh, figure out what it is exactly we're doing for dinner before we uh, hike back into camp. back to the trailhead had a fantastic day in town there wind kind of kicked our butts but uh these little loops that a lot of backpacks have i bet you've all been wondering what are those for can you put a camp chair there yeah sure possibly even your tent let me show you what they're really for so what those loops are really for is that's where you put your pizza i'll probably have to show you be right back all right so we got very carefully Pinch in the middle. And have to ditch our table. Sorry, bud. All right. So with your pizza folded in half, we're gonna bag it just so we don't leave any grease along the trail. We'll wrap her up good and proper. Then eat her through the loop. And I mean, you want it tight. You don't want this thing going anywhere, you know what I mean? Can you imagine getting to camp and not having a hot, fresh pizza? Heartbreak. Okay. Got our firewood inside. Pick some up on the way back so we can have a nice fire tonight. Got our fresh and ready pizza. Time to suit up. Yeah. 
I think we got everything we need, so we are gonna head back out on trail. So this hike so nice, we did it twice. See you out there. Hashtag rough in it. So we made it back to camp. Beautiful view behind us there. Looks like the tent is still intact. Food bag still hanging in the tree. Survey says. Nice. As you can proudly see, we packed in some stuff. A couple Mountain Dews to try out with the Tolomore Dew. You gotta do the Dew, know what I mean? And we've got our pizza, and some bags full of firewood. Let's get her unpacked. Okay. So yeah, those bags are not light. But at least we already had our tent and everything here. So uh, we were having some issues with our catadine and Sawyer filters. So we grabbed a gallon of water, because what's an extra eight pounds when you're Dura? <laughs> All right, see the results? <laughs> yeah, buddy, looking good. It's gonna be a good night, guys. doused our fire it's probably not even eight o'clock to be honest but it's uh warmer in the tent so yeah probably hang out here for a little while and then uh eventually fall asleep seems a little warmer tonight i think it's 43 right now um so yeah looking forward to a good night's sleep and uh, we will see you guys in the morning to uh break down camp and hike on out of here good night well, good morning, everybody. About 7 a.m., 37 degrees outside. Uh, we switched pads last night so my buddy could try out the Thermarest X-Therm, and I just did not sleep as good on the Nemo. Uh, could it's been how the ground was underneath me, um, or it got colder, felt a little drafty, just woke up a lot tossing and turning. But I wanted to come out here and share this view of the beautiful lake. Nice calm water this morning. We're packing up camp now. Probably make some breakfast. Enjoy a nice coffee or something. But uh, yeah, not a bad way to wake up on a Sunday morning. So we'll get things moving a little bit and uh, we'll see you here shortly. So we've got our pizza heating rig going <clears throat> and enjoy some nice warm leftovers for breakfast so we packed up camp uh, cleaned up a bit did leave some firewood behind for whoever comes next about 8 30 right now warming up a bit sun's out which is nice beautiful view of the lake there so silk goose lake i've done a couple of times and uh, White River might be where the idea for Top Shelf began with the uh, bald eagle and the eagle rare. But it's actually here at Silk Goose Lake that I first put it to practice by packing in a bottle of Jefferson's Ocean Voyage 16 uh, that I'm pretty sure we polished off here. So yeah, it was Jefferson's Ocean 16 that started the uh, 
whole thing. So kind of nice that we were able to uh, pack in a new Ocean Age product uh, from Pilot House. It's our AO Come Hell or High Water. Fantastic whiskey. Thankfully, we didn't quite finish it, so I've got some to compare to their uh, batch 10 that just released recently. Um, so yeah, so we are going to toss on our probably incredibly heavy bags and uh, head for the trailhead. We'll see you out there on the trail. Oh, trail update. Just past the one mile mark. Three quarters to go. Um, maybe breakfast pizza and coffee spiked with Oregon single malt. Not the best way to start a day on trail with 600 feet of elevation. So uh, yeah, also always seem to forget to stretch. So my calves, my quads, they're on fire. But we only got I don't know, 20 more minutes to go. So we'll keep on keeping on. See you out there. We are making our final descent down toward the trailhead. Probably less than a quarter mile to go. Kind of cool once you crest up over the final hill, you can hear the ocean in the background. Waves crashing probably a mile away or so. Uh, nice cool hike, clear skies. Everything's kind of damp, but uh, the trail's been good. Nice mix of duff and then here in the final little bit, uh, there's some gravel mixed in. Give you good traction been quite a fun weekend out here whole point of this trip was to kind of show you guys backpacking doesn't have to mean serious miles make sure you're bringing enough gear to be safe and if you want to base camp and go explore a town nearby or other trails you can heck if you want to pack in a pizza and heat it up for breakfast the next day you can do that too as long as you're safe about it i will say hanging half a pizza and the bear line was interesting. Thankfully, we weren't worried about bears, just like raccoons and critters and stuff. Um, but yeah, it doesn't have to be that serious. It needs to be safe. But, you know, we did two miles in, two miles out. Trail so good, we did it twice. I would like to thank Hike Oregon uh, for showing me this trail. Um, her website's hikeoregon.net. You can find her on YouTube and Instagram at Hike Oregon. She's got some great trail guides out there, some books um, that are fantastic. But I found this hike on her website, uh, Good Winter Hikes. And uh, so far, every time I've come, I think it's my third or fourth time, it's been fantastic. Uh, it's 10 minutes outside of Florence, Oregon. So again, super easy to hike in. And the first or second time we came, I forgot to get a Northwest Forest Pass so we could park. Short trip back into town to the Bymart, pick one up, we were back in action. Um, beautiful wooded area here. Tents seem always cool. I bet even in the summertime I've never been, but I doubt it ever gets over I don't know, 75. Might get kind of buggy seeing it's at a lake, but it is a big lake. But great time out here this weekend, and uh, I will see you here shortly down at the car. All right, we made it back here to the trailhead. Uh, just saw a sign that definitely wasn't here even when we left yesterday. There is a black bear in the area. So shout out to us packing in a pizza. At least we hung our food, made sure all of our smelly stuff was quite a ways from our tent. Um, again, I do that mainly because I don't want chipmunks and mice and shit chewing holes in all my stuff. But uh, yeah, another successful trip. Um, if you're ever in the Florence, Oregon area, want a nice day hike, fine for that. Or there's six different sites you can stay at. So get out there and enjoy it. Doesn't have to be serious. You don't have to do crazy miles. Um, just get out there and enjoy yourself. For more information, visit TopShelfBackpacking.com. And remember that I hope the miles you hike are filled with wonder and the glasses you raise are filled with whiskey. Cheers.